So pretty much every single season of me doing NBA Live Mobile on YouTube, I've gone ahead and made a legacy lineup towards the end of that year. Now, this is not necessarily the highest overall lineup I can possibly have. It is just simply the players I like to use in gameplay or, of course, specific artwork or the players themselves just to make a team out of those guys. Now, I have no idea when Season 9 will actually release. I thought it was going to release last month, as we all did, but unfortunately, EA have sort of delayed it. We have no idea what the exact release date is going to be for season nine but hopefully it is going to be soon if i got any news of course i will share it on youtube or of course on my discord server a link to that as always is in the description down below but let's take a look at this legacy lineup we're going to kick things off at the point guard spot and we'll go through all the players i have collected now obviously this season i haven't played a huge amount of nba live mobile so i haven't got the best card collection at all and not necessarily the highest rated players of course at the point guard spot we have got some very good players ranging all the way from the low Lowest overall all the way up to my highest overall player which ended up being that 108 car larry as i said i haven't played a huge amount throughout this season so a lot of people probably have better cards than me but we'll kick things off with this 92 overall steph curry from the three-pointer promo of course my favorite player in the nba 96 on that three-point shot is looking absolutely ridiculous this ben simmons card though will probably have to outdo him court visionaries master 101 overall and of course he's got a ridiculous dunk package on him which is super fun to use in gameplay and i actually think he might be the best point guard or the one i want to keep as my starting point guard for this team of course carl larry over here does have better stats but i think i'm going to go for that ben simmons just based off how good he is in the gameplay itself now the reason it's called a legacy lineup is because back in season one possibly even season two and up to season four i think your cards would not carry over in between seasons so you were basically keeping the players that you wanted to keep on your lineup so say as you can see i've done it for season four where i kept the players i would like to use in gameplay the most this was my season five lineup then this was my season six lineup it's taken a while to load up all the card art as well but this was the season six lineup not necessarily the highest overall players but the ones i like to use in gameplay and this was of course that season seven lineup so this is eventually going to be the season eight lineup it probably won't be as high overall as some of the other ones but we'll go on to the bench point guard and i think for me it's either between that cj mccollum who i managed to pull just towards the end of the season out of one of those feature collection packs there wasn't a massive chance of being able to get him but i somehow managed to do so or it's going to be that carl lowry from his promo but i think i'm going to go with that cj mccollum just because it was a lock pack that i got him out of and i think that was fairly cool just to pull him out of that pack it was totally unexpected and he is giving out that plus four scoring machine boost. So he's going to go on the bench as that point guard. Then at the shooting guard spot, we'll start off with some lower overall players and work our way up little by little. We'll start about here because I don't think there's anyone below this 80 overall mark that I'm going to probably put into this lineup. We'll keep going up little by little just to see if there's anyone that catches my eye to be added to the lineup. We did get this 92 overall Fred Van Vliet, a monthly master player from me from a pack not too long ago. So he's probably not going to be starting. Tracy McGrady, always a fun card to do some gameplay with with a plus three inside scoring boost to team keep going up a little bit a manager nobly card was super cool and we did have two of him Derek Fisher as well over there this anti Edwards card it wasn't my team for quite a while before he got replaced I think it was SGA that replaced him who was also a very nice card to do gameplay with he has an absolutely ridiculous dunk package on him that is very good when paired with that Ben Simmons but I think it's going to have to go to this Clay Thompson with a 110 three-point shot on this card from the GOAT promo looking absolutely ridiculous so I think he's going to have to go there as my starting shooting guard and then on the bench we'll put that sga card because again he was very fun to do gameplay with especially with that dunk package but that's the point guard and shooting guard spot sorted now onto the small four spot so we'll scroll down a little bit to see if i've got anyone good that could go into the team maybe the emo hairstyle on that jimmy butler would be a fun addition to the lineup but i don't think he's going to make the team necessarily for this one we also had tim hardaway jr i had a load of these cards because of course they were absolutely impossible to get them to sell Kawhi leonard as well from that promo always a good one to have over there but I think it's going to either be between Dominique Wilkins or Jimmy Butler for me OG Ananobi is a shout but I don't really think he was that good in terms of gameplay but for me Butler or Dominique that is the question I think it's going to have to be Dominique Wilkins based on the stats and I think when I did gameplay with the GOAT promo players he was very good in that small forward role and then we'll go ahead and put Butler on the bench there because he again he was fairly fun to use in gameplay as well and just when I tested these cards out in showdown he was very good 
over there. So he's going to go as the backup small forward. Now onto the power forward spot. Who have we got? It seems to be we got quite a few decent players as I was just scrolling through the high overall players. We got onto the Gumpo, who was that season master or arena master, showdown master. One of those three. He was that master over there. We got Draymond Green had a game time card onto the Gumpo there from the all-star promo, I believe. Going up to 94 overall with a plus three defensive boost. Another Tim Duncan card there from the live pass. Carl Anthony Towns was on the team for a while, I think, with that team pick and roll boost. Then we also had LeBron James on the team for a bit from that peak performance promo. Onto the combo had a ridiculous dunk package on him though. Again, the same promo as that Ben Simmons card. Just about managed to get him with that plus two Block City booster team. But I think outdoing him has got to be this 110 LeBron James. An absolute beast when I did gameplay with him. Him and of course the other GOAT master who probably will feature in this legacy lineup. But he's definitely going to be my starting power forward. Of course, the boost will probably be better on the bench. But I'm going to stick him there as the starting power forward. Of course, I got a higher overall onto the combo card there at 111 overall going up to with those boosts but i'm gonna have to give it to the court visionaries one when i did gameplay with this card it was absolutely ridiculous he's going on the bench so we got both him and ben simmons there in the team because they were super fun to do gameplay with when those cards came out now onto the center spot though to see who we can add to this lineup we'll scroll through all of these low overall players see if there's anyone else you got paul zingas at 90 overall a decent card to have and another one at 94 overall a victor Wembanyama card at 95 overall it's kind of nuts to think about that season eight was the first time we saw Wembanyama in the game and still his player model has not changed and become accurate it's ridiculous hopefully in season Season 9, EA will make some changes and they will fix his player model, but I'm not holding my hopes up too high with that actually happening. But let's keep going through to see if there's anyone else we can replace him with. We've got a 99 Chet Hongren. He was fairly fun to do some gameplay with. A Sengen as well for that peak performance promo. The Grandmaster from that promo, Nikola Jokic. A Dirk card, which is always really nice to have a good Dirk card in the game. But I think it's going to have to go to Robinson. Again, going back to the gameplay video I did with him and LeBron, it was absolutely nuts. So them two are going into the lineup. We got four players from the GOAT promo in the starting five, which is kind of understandable because I didn't play a lot of promos throughout the season. And that was one of the promos that I did manage to get all of the masters and grandmasters for. On the bench, though, I don't know. It's kind of between, for me personally, a Wembenyama card would be nice. Nikola Jokic was on the team for a while. Dirk, it's always nice to have him on the team, but I think I'm going to have to go with Wembenyama just because if EA do decide to change his player model, he will look good going into next season. So that is going to be my legacy lineup in terms of the bench players and the starting players. Let me know the comments down below what team you would actually make if you could with the players that you've got in your inventory in terms of the court you can see i've pretty much just got warriors courts i've also got a staple center court over here for the la clippers but i think it's going to have to be the golden state warriors court i'm feeling this one over here so we'll put that one in jerseys again i haven't really got a lot of jerseys at all compared to what i have had in previous seasons but i'll go for the ones i like the look of such as this Miami jersey, and then obviously the City Warriors jersey does look fairly clean. I'm not sure whether this one over here LA Clippers one does look a little bit better, but I think I'm going to have to go with the Warriors one as it is looking fairly clean. The boost item, again, not much to choose from. The regiment boost item has done its job throughout the season, but the finesse one has got the most stuff on it, but I'm not matching any players at all. I'm matching one, matching two over there, but the power one's probably the best one for this lineup. I can't even remember what this one was from, this finesse one, but I think I'm going to have to go with the power one because why not? There's not much in it between them. None of them are really that special at all, and especially compared to previous seasons, of legacy lines it's kind of my own fault that i haven't been playing a game a huge amount but a lot of these cards do have sentimental value for them and going through the seasons they did kind of lose that value in my opinion maybe that's because i didn't really play the game as much but this is going to be the legacy lineup for season eight i've got it up to 110 overall i think the highest overall i could have this season is 114 overall but we'll head into a quick showdown quarter to see what we can do with all of these guys 113 overall team it's looking like a multi-year one a lot of those players are from season eight though but a couple are from other seasons so it's going to be a tough matchup but we'll see what we can do we're just here to have a little bit of fun in this showdown quarter with all of the guys i've chosen for the team we'll kick things off with thompson for the two-pointer as he knocks it down a 124 mid-range shot 
is absolutely ridiculous. I thought he'd be good at the shooting stats. And of course, he's not going to disappoint. We're going to have to try a three points with him later on in this quarter, though. Kyrie Irving going up for the shot. Can LeBron get the block? Unfortunately, just missing out on getting that block. I have no idea what promo that Kyrie Irving card was actually from. But let's see whether we can come back with a dunk of our own. Ben Simmons is just unfortunately going to get stopped, though, by onto the compo. Is he still going to make the shot with his scoring with contact? It's not looking like it's going to go in. It's bouncing off the backboard. It just about drops for us. 113 on that scoring with contact shot. I need to get a dunk off with him, though, before this quarter ends. We'll play it over to Dominique Wilkins. Try and get a nasty dunk with him. It's a one-handed slam, and he finishes it off with that 113 dunking. I don't think he's got the best dunk package in the game, but he definitely does have one, which makes him do these crazy dunks. Ben Simmons is a able to get the steal that time. I've got to run all the way up the court with him this time. He comes through with the 360 dunk to finish off the play. Murray's trying to get through. He's dished it over to Jimmy Butler in the corner who misses the shot onto the Kumpo back in to get the dunk off. He's maxed out his dunking, which is ridiculous, but hopefully LeBron could get a dunk the other way. Unfortunately not. He loses the ball and Murray is going to come the other way. Can we get a block? Unfortunately not as Murray comes through to tie up the game at eight apiece. I've got to give it back to LeBron. He's got to redeem himself after that horrendous losing play earlier on. Let's see whether he can cross up onto the Kumpo. He's found the space to come through with that reverse. First one-handed slam, 112 on his dunking, which is good to see. I think the only person we haven't scored with yet is going to be Robinson. So hopefully we can get a good shot with him. Butler, he's come through for the layup and he's managed to knock it down. We got Robinson here inbounding the ball to Ben Simmons. We'll play it back up to him so he can run all the way up the court and hopefully get a good dunk down the other end. He's getting stopped though by Porzingis. Again, he's going to lose the ball like with that LeBron James. It might be that overall disadvantage coming to haunt us a little bit as Porzingis gets up and knocks down the one-handed slam. We've got time to maybe score two more baskets with one with Robinson and then hopefully a three with Clay to end off this quarter. So let's try and drive in with Robinson. He's got the space to go up for the one-handed slam and knock it down over there. So we've got 18 seconds left. Hopefully the AI can knock a shot down so we can get a three-pointer back at the end with our Clay Thompson card. AI's just run out of bounds, which is great to see. So we got 12 seconds to line up this three-pointer with, of course, the Clay Thompson. He shot a two-pointer earlier. He made it. Can we knock down a three-pointer with him to end off the quarter? I'm going to try and make it as tough as I can. The clock's going down. We'll go for a sidestep. Ozzer beater three. Hopefully he knocks it down. It was very far out. Unfortunately, just missing that one. It was probably a poor release on my part, and I did make it absolutely ridiculous. He has got his maxed out three-point shot. But it's not a bad quarter nonetheless, considering that overall disadvantage. So yeah, that is my legacy lineup for season eight. Of course, I have no idea when season nine will actually drop. If you want to go check out all the official news we have got for season nine so far, go check out the video in the bottom left hand corner and I'll see you guys in that one. Peace.